Intella Investigator, your first case quick start guide. Hi everyone, welcome to this video on adding a case in Intella Investigator. In this video, we will cover how to add your first case to Intella Investigator. We also look at drives and folders, user accounts and permissions, and how to add a source to a case. First, make sure you have a few things ready. You need administrator access. Intella Investigator should be running. Intella node should be running as well. And you need your evidence ready to add. Before creating a case, let's look at the different drives and folders. In this chapter, we are going to look at the different drives and folders. First, the evidence folder. This holds all the data you want to analyze in Intella Investigator, like loose files, forensic images, or phone exports. Next, the case folder. This contains the databases and files Intella Investigator needs to function. Do not manually add anything here. Reserve at least double the size of your evidence folder for the case folder. There's also an optimization folder. It stores temporary indexing data, spreading the load across drives. This folder is optional but recommended for large cases. For optimal performance, use separate disks for each folder. One disk for just the operating system, to keep it clean. Another disk for your evidence folder. A third disk for the case folder. And a fourth disk for the optimization folder. Spreading out the reading and writing activity across multiple disks balances the workload. This allows your system resources to be used more efficiently. Overall, separating the data onto dedicated disks improves speed and optimizes performance when working in Intella Investigator. To manage the application, we open the browser and put in the IP address or host name of the server running the Intella Investigator application. Go to http colon slash slash localhost port 9999 if you are on the same computer where Intella Investigator is installed on. If you have it installed on a remote server, you must use the IP address of that machine to access the Intella Investigator interface. Log in as administrator. The first time you use Intella Investigator, you can log in with the username and password admin. Make sure you change this to a more secure password later on. Users. When you add a user, it is system-wide. Later, when creating a case, you can assign that user and determine their permissions for that specific case. To add a new user account, click the Users tab on the right side of the Investigator screen. This opens the Account submenu, click Create Account, and a small window pops up. Enter the username, new password, and repeat the password to confirm. You can also auto-generate a random password by clicking Generate Random Password. This will populate both fields. Once the user is added to the system, you can assign them to cases and customize their permissions. The system supports unlimited user accounts. However, your license limits the number of concurrent online users. To view usage, go to the Seats tab. This displays your total seats, seats currently available, and occupied seats. For example, if you have a four-seat license, you can have hundreds of user accounts, but only four people can log into a case simultaneously. The administrator dashboard remains available at all times, outside of the seat limit. This concurrent user limit allows large organizations to create accounts for all members while controlling active usage based on their license. The Seats page provides easy monitoring of your license utilization. Roles and Permissions To manage or change roles and permissions, click on Roles and Permissions in the submenu. There are already default roles defined. We have Administrator Case Manager Examiner Investigator the first column shows permissions. For example, it shows whether a user can delete other reviewers' tags and taggings. As you can see, administrator and investigator roles cannot delete other reviewers' tags. To change this, tick the checkbox for the role you want to modify. By default, examiners have more rights than investigators. You can also define custom roles like translator or privacy officer. For example, you could create a translator role that only has permission to view particular tags, or create a privacy officer role that can only review legally privileged information. Roles apply system-wide, not just to a specific case. You can create new roles tailored to your organization's needs. Create a case. 
We now have everything ready to create your first case. You have added users, reviewed roles, and permissions. Now let's create a case. Go to the Administrator submenu, click Cases, then Create Case. Give the case a name and description. Select an empty folder for the location or the optimization folder if you use one. Then click Create. Next, add a source to the case. Indexing is done by IntelliNode. If you get a warning that IntelliNode is offline, make sure it is started. If IntelliNode is not running as a Windows service, double-click Node's desktop icon. If running as a service, open services.msc and check IntelliNode status. If you see OK, click Add New to add evidence. A wizard will begin guiding you through the process. You can add local files, disk images, or connect to online sources like Microsoft, Google, and Dropbox. In this video, we will add a disk image. Select a disk image and click Next. On the next screen, select your disk image file. It will calculate the total size. Click Next. IntelliNode Investigator will check the integrity of the file first. If all is well, choose to process everything or just a selection. With physical images, you can also select volume shadow copies. Adjust as needed for your scenario, then click Next. It is important to set the correct time zone for accurate timestamps. Adjust it and click Next. Now select all item types to index or just specific ones. Click Next. You can also select a hash list of items to ignore during indexing. See the manual for details. Click Next. Next, select or deselect indexing tasks to optimize for your data. Click Next to continue. More options are available on the next screen. Click Next. On the final wizard screen, select any post-indexing tasks to run. Click Next to complete the wizard. Finally, check the box to begin processing now. Select your node and click Finish. This will start indexing the source. Back on the case page, a progress bar displays the indexing status. Click More Details to see statistics and errors. Close this window to go back to the overview page. It also shows discovered file types. Great, you added your first source at this point. You can add more sources to the case or click Finish Source Management to complete the case creation process. It is good practice to generate an exceptions report after indexing. This will list any items that failed processing along with the reason. Exception Report Let's have a look at the Exceptions Report for this case. Clicking Exceptions generates a CSV or XLSX Exceptions Report you can open in Excel. This report lists any items that failed processing, along with the file name and reason. Review the list for failed items. Corrupt or partial files often cause failures. If you see unexpected failures, have a technical colleague examine the report separately. They can investigate why those specific files failed. Go through the list systematically to understand why items were not processed fully. Assign users. It's now time to assign users to our case. Click the Cases tab in Intella Investigator. A submenu appears listing your cases. Click the case you want to assign users to. The Details tab shows useful information. Scroll down and select Authorizations. A window pops up with the different roles available. Here you can assign users to a specific role. For example, add a user with the role Investigator and an user with the role Examiner. Click the arrow on the right of each field to see a drop-down menu of usernames. Select the desired users for each role. Once all roles are assigned, click OK to apply the selection. The last step in this process is to actively share the case. All you need to do is click on the blue Share button. After some initialization work, this adds a link on the Case Details page. This link can be used by assigned users to access the case. If you like to share the case automatically after restarting the computer or application, you can switch the Auto Start toggle to Active. That's it. The case now has reviewers assigned. You can repeat this process to grant case access to additional users as needed. Summary In this video, we covered several key steps in getting started with Intella Investigator. First, we looked at the different drives and folders and best practices for optimizing file locations. Spreading the data across multiple disks improves performance. 
Next, we created a user account to add reviewers to the system. Users apply globally, then get assigned permissions in each case. We reviewed the default roles and permissions, and how to create custom roles like translator or privacy officer. After that, we created a case and added a data source, walking through the indexing wizard step by step. We also generated an exception report to identify any items that failed processing. And finally, we granted users access to the newly created case, and we changed the sharing status to active. This covers the basics. Consult the manual for more advanced ways to set up your case. Enjoy using Intella Investigator and thank you for watching.